What's up, YouTube? This is Rusty Spall with RC5 Fitness. Doing another chest and abs workout. Hope you guys are having a great day. All right, right here, I'm just warming up with the bar, just cranking out some reps, trying to get nice and warm before we hit the heavy weights. And if you notice, I'm gonna slide on some 25s on here on each side. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Uh, if you guys didn't hear in our last video, uh, the guy we were praying for, David, uh, a kid that goes to our church is his father. Uh, they had uh, diagnosed him with cancer in his shoulder, and when they did further testing, it ended up just being a cyst. So we're going to give God all the glory for that. Praise God. So I'm going to put my tunes in my ears here. So we're going to crank out some more reps with the 25s on, which that's a 45-pound bar. So you're looking at 95 pounds, which is nowhere near my max. So we're just kind of warming up, cranking out a few reps. Usually I crank out anywhere from 8 to 12 reps just to try to get the blood pumping, blood flowing. Now I'm going to throw a couple more 10s on here just to... Uh, kind of continue to warm up. Always make sure you warm up. Always make sure you stretch. I did not show myself stretching my chest muscles uh, before. Usually I bust out some push-ups prior to doing some weights uh, for the warm-up. And I also put my arm against a uh, uh, some type of stable uh, piece of equipment and just turn to the side. I'll, I'll show you that in a later video. Uh, do some stretching and, and things like that and show you guys some important stretches prior to weight lifting. So I'm going to crank out another uh, set here. You notice I'm shaking out my massive hobbit arms. <laughs> so here we go. Cranking those out. I hope you guys are having a great week. It's been crazy weather here. It's been uh, 30 degree mornings and 60 degree afternoons here in North Carolina. Hope you guys are having some better weather than that. So here we go. I've got some 50 pound dumbbells that we're going to kick up. Now if you notice I use my knees to kick that weight up into a uh, shoulder press position before I lay back. And uh, so I'm cranking it out. And the angle of this camera, it looks like I'm arching my back, but I'm really not arching my back. That is terrible form. If you ever see anybody putting their feet on the floor and arching their back while they're benching or doing an incline bench of any type or a flat bench, that is 100% wrong. Never, ever, ever, ever do that. You can damage your lower back and you only get one of those. That's set number one. A lot of people, I see a lot of Olympic lifters even doing the same thing. They put on a massive amount of weight. And, and, and the way I feel about it, um, in my opinion, if you've got to arch your back and put your feet on the floor, then you are using too much weight. If you can't lay your back against a flat bench and press that weight up on your own using your chest and tricep muscles, then you shouldn't be lifting that much weight improper form it's going to get you hurt and in the long term you need your back you need to be fully functional so there we go these things are getting heavy really quick so that's set number two there guys set number two doing three sets of eight to twelve i did uh, the first set of eight i think the second set i'm doing eight here as well i did not count them i apologize sitting here watching it and in the last set, I'm going to do eight. I'm doing heavy because I'm trying to bulk my chest. I've been cutting, as you guys saw, the nine-day shred. I'm getting ready to do another nine-day shred. So in the, in between these nine-day shreds, uh, I'm actually bulking during that time. Whereas during the nine-day shreds, I'm doing higher reps. In the 12 to 15 rep range, lighter weight. This is 50-pound dumbbells. That's only 100 pounds. Uh, my max bench is about 215 to 225, somewhere in there. I don't max out very often because I don't have workout partners, so um, which was which is crazy because I, I would love to have a workout partner that could uh, bench as much as myself. So uh, there's a big guy back there behind me. There, his name's Jeff, and he <laughs> he throws on about uh, 325 and rips that out like it's nothing. He's an uh, ex. Uh, Army Ranger and Green Beret, and uh, he is one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. 
Uh, he actually owns a goat farm. <laughs> That's uh, uh, a little factoid there. So here we go with another flat bench here. We're going to be, we drop the bench down to a flat bench. So we're going to go ahead and hit the middle of the chest here. The incline bench, which is what we were just doing, hits the upper top portion of the chest, which you want to build that up. So it gives you, a lot of people will just concentrate on the flat bench and decline. And what that does is build the center and the decline builds the lower part of the chest. If you don't build the upper part of the chest, it doesn't really look like you have a chest. It kind of, your chest will kind of morph into your abdominal region and you just won't look like you have a well-rounded chest. Which is what everybody should be going for. You want to make sure that every muscle is properly worked in uh, either two or three quadrants. Like your triceps, you have two heads. Uh, your deltoids have three heads. Well, your uh, chest has three areas, your upper, middle, and lower, so wait for my masseuse to get back from Hawaii, I'm cranking my neck back and forth, which is totally bad, don't ever do that, please, don't go by my example on that, here we go, another set. And, you know, whenever, whenever we're, we're benching here, you know, uh, always make sure you speak positively to yourself when you're, when you're doing these exercises. Make sure that you're always positively telling yourself, hey man, good job, good set, way to go. Now here I'm doing a chest fly machine. This also is a uh, rear deltoid and back fly machine if you turn around and face the other direction. It's a great versatile machine. I really love it. I'm doing about 70 pounds here. Uh, and uh, I actually crank it up to 85 on the last set on here. I'm trying to do these as 12 reps here and uh, try to really hit my outer chest. I've got a problem area with some cellulite on the outside of my chest. If you notice in my nine days, you can see it just a little bit of my nine day shred pictures and video. And I'm really trying to work that area to carve that, to, to create some muscle in that area, so hopefully it'll eat away some of that fat tissue uh, as I'm doing my shred. So the more muscle you put on, the better results. Now here we're gonna, I'm gonna put uh, about 60 pounds here on the flat bench machine, and I'm gonna crank out some high reps. This is a little chest finisher for me. Uh, normally I do some push-ups to failure, but I thought uh, I would just get on this machine and really crank out. And what I'm doing also is I'm pausing down here. I'll still, you'll notice I'm pausing at the top on this, and now I'm starting to pause at the bottom. And I'm doing some more static exercises like that to get a little more growth in my chest muscles. The more muscle fibers we fire, the better off we are. The more muscle fibers, uh, fibers, fibers, the more muscle fibers that are firing, the more growth you're going to see. Now remember, you put on a pound of muscle, that actually burns 350 calories in a seven day period. So if you can put on uh, 10 pounds of muscle, you're burning a pound a week, or that's another 3,500 calories that you can eat in a week's time, uh, which is either good or bad. So if you're trying to cut, you just putting on a pound of muscle in a short period of time, you can lose quite a bit of weight So over a longer period of time. Now here we're doing some ab rolls. I love ab rolls. Uh, they really work the abdominal region, but this is wreaking havoc on my triceps because I just blew them out with the tricep workout the day before and then did chest, which was murder uh, on my triceps today. But I love the ab roller. There is no better exercise for really stretching out your uh, internal abdominal muscles and the external muscles. A lot of people don't believe that you have internal and external, but you actually do. You have an under layer of abdominal muscles. And that supports your organs, your stomach, keeps all that tight. You see, here a lot of people get hernias. That's usually where the muscle breakdown is. Uh, that. So now we're going to finish off. We're going to do some crunches here and just really finish off those abs. 
you notice, I'm not putting my hands totally behind my head. I'm trying to keep my hands to the side of my head or put my fingertips behind my ears so that way I don't pull on my neck. A lot of people put their fingers behind their head, they interlock their fingers, and they're basically cranking on their neck, and it's very, bad, very, very, very bad for your neck. Now we're doing some crossover uh, abdominal work here, just some crossover crunches. Try to hit the outer uh, obliques a little bit. I did obliques the day before, but I wanted to hit these inner obliques uh, as well. You've got some obliques on the side, which is what everybody wants to see, that nice little cut down going into your, from your abdominal region down into your lower groin area. These actually work the other, the inner portion of that, where you find that nice dip in there. So you get that nice crunching action there. Make sure also when you're doing crunches that you're breathing out as you bring your head up because you'll get a nicer compression uh, for your, if you try to, uh, if you don't believe me, then try to hold your breath and do a crunch. It's impossible to do. Doing some Supermans here. And for some reason, I thought my feet were coming a little higher off the floor, but it's like I never put my feet down. So I was just concentrating too much on shooting the video. And a lot of times when I'm shooting video by myself and, and my wife's not with me, it's, I, I can't really see where the camera's facing and stuff. So I'm trying my best to get the best video for you guys. I look like a beach turtle. <laughs> Incidentally, I uh, just talked to one of our uh, logo guys, and he's actually working up a logo. Our family uh, mascot is a turtle, and uh, you guys have a great day from RC5 Fitness.